If you pay millions of dollars, we can make very light bodies uh, using a carbon fiber composite uh, with a, a titanium chassis, uh, like a Formula One uh, vehicles. And that is not exactly uh, what uh, uh, a lot of people wanted. Uh, a lot of people wanted to be a, a car to be light and uh, also economical. The vehicle uh, body is really the start point of the weight reduction. If you reduce the uh, weight by 10 pounds, it gets a one gallon of fuel savings. Less fuel, of course, leads to less uh, carbon dioxide, so it's cleaner. Current vehicle bodies are made of a thin sheet of uh, iron, and that is uh, stamped to make a certain form, and then are joined together using a process called a spot welds. Now, uh, uh, both of the, uh, the stamping as well as the spot welding are not applicable if you change the material. I'm in charge of the research group uh, uh, trying to reduce the weight of the vehicle uh, to about half by uh, 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 incorporating the lighter weight materials than steel, such as aluminum, composite, and uh, even magnesium alloys. Let me see. Our conclusion also converging, also the other studies seem to suggest that using multiple materials, right one at the right portion is the best strategy. And that makes the whole problem a lot more difficult and interesting. So the goal is to keep the safety as the same standard. Which portion the bends, which portion crashes, which join detaches uh, during the uh, crash event. And they make sure that uh, the occupants uh, are safe uh, during the event. We use a technique called the finite element analysis uh, that will allow you to analyze the deformation of uh, parts uh, under uh, crash impact. Weight you know, uh, is really you know, something you want to reduce, right? The, the cost and the safety you want to keep. Our group consists of several uh, teams, and one of the teams are looking at exactly uh, how to form aluminum and also the higher strength steel in a way which is economical uh, and also uh, uh, high quality. Uh, other teams also are looking at how to join the similar materials uh, in the uh, arbitrary combination, uh, which, which you can think of, uh, to the quality and the cost comparable to current spot welding. So can it be done in economical fashion? Aggressive target is 50, but 30% lighter car is the realistic target. Yes, yes. But it can be a dangerous and complex environment for a human to be in, especially if we're talking about limpid mines that might be placed on the hull. And so the idea is how you can uh, remove the human from being at risk by having a robotic system do this.